Hello and welcome to Color Pencil Techniques. Uh, we're going over how to take what we just learned and implement it using color pencils onto this worksheet for practice. Um, so we did the five different steps and that's what we're going to be kind of going over today. Um, but before we get into the worksheet, I just wanted to show you some of the color pencils that I had um, to use for this project. Um, I have a set of color pencils. It's just a Rose Art color pencils pack of 72 because I like a little variety. Um, but you're only required to have like a 12 pack and you get those from the dollar store, um, Walmart, Walgreens. I'm pretty sure I got these from Walgreens. Um, you can pretty much go to any kind of um, convenience store. You can even probably go to um, the Kroger or Publix or something and get a 12 pack of color pencils. There's a whole bunch of different brands out there. Um, this just so happens to be one of the cheaper brands, um, but they're good color pencils. Um, so those are, I just wanted to show you those. Um, and then the, my pride and joys are my Prisma um, color, colored pencils. Um, and I'm, on me today I have six colors and then I also have an odd man out here. Um, but you're only really going to need these six colors today. Um, green, yellow, purple, um, orange, red, and blue. So as long as you have those for this project, you, you're good for the rest of them. Um, and then this color, my odd man out, is actually no color. It's called a colorless blender. And for those who have Prismacolors or want to really get into Prismacolor color pencils, I highly recommend one of these. Um, these really help to blend out your colors, and I'll show it um, technique-wise how to use that today because it's definitely one of my favorite color pencils. Alright, so I'm going to jump right into the worksheet. Um, so make sure that you have at least your six colors handy with you um, to complete this worksheet. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you guys. Alright, so here uh, we're going to work on this top part first thing. Um, so the instructions say blend the colors from the color wheel to create a color spectrum. Um, so pretty much we're just kind of using all the colors of the rainbow um, in order to create this color spectrum here. Uh, and I kind of abbreviated it to make sure I could fit all the different um, letters on here. But this is just to show you the order that I'm kind of looking for. So you have the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Um, you have our secondary colors, orange green and violet or purple same thing but I have V for violet for this one um, or you have the tertiary colors you have red orange yellow orange yellow green blue green blue violet red violet so that's kind of what those abbreviations stand for on this worksheet so in case you get a little confused on that just kind of refer to the color wheel and it'll really help you out so what I'm going to do for this project is I'm going to start with the red first up top. And pardon me for moving my paper to the side. It always helps me a little bit. So what I'm going to do with this first color, um, I'm using a red color. And um, if you're using just the regular color pencils, it's probably going to just say red for um, Prisma colors. They always have wonderful creative colors and this one's called a crimson red um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually kind of map out here what I want to color in so this is going to be the section that I want to color in with the red and so you can go on ahead and kind of color that in and you can color it I'm going to go back in and color it a little bit nicer here in a minute but I just kind of want to color it in so I know where to put it. Okay, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to the red in a little bit. Maybe I'll go on ahead and color a little bit darker just so you guys can see it. Try to be as neat as possible. Okay. And as you 
notice I've actually gone halfway through the red orange here and that's going to be um, helpful for when you are blending the colors together. So I'm going to go on ahead with um, my orange and this was actually an orange so that's great. Um, and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to color it from that middle of the red orange to the yellow orange. And I'm doing that so then when I blend these colors together it'll make sense. But right now I'm going to just kind of keep them separated. I promise it'll make sense in a little bit. Alright, so I'm done with my orange there. So um, I'm going in with my um, yellow here. This is a deco yellow. And so I'm going to go from that yellow orange all the way to the yellow green here. Color that in. Alright, so now that I've done the yellow, I'm going for the green. I'm going to go all the way to about mid of the blue-green. You're probably thinking, Mrs. Donaldson, you're just coloring the rainbow here, aren't you? My Roy G. Biv. And if you never heard that expression, Roy G. Biv. Well, there's indigo too, but um, in that rainbow. But for this, we're just going to exclude indigo. No offense, indigo. But today, we are not using you. Alright, so I'm going with blue. My um, Copenhagen blue. <laughs> One of the, I just love art. All the wonderful different colors you can use. Possibilities are endless. Can't even, can't even handle myself. All right. And then for the last little bit, I'm going to use my violet. Or for this one, it's actually called dark purple on here. Um, but you can use either violet or purple, same color, different names. Alright, so now that I've kind of have my rainbow mapped out a little bit better for you guys here on my color spectrum. Now I got the six main colors on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start blending the colors together. So for that, I'm going to get um, right here, I'm going to make a red-orange with it and blend it together. So I've got my red and my orange handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring in my orange and kind of bring it into that red color a little bit. You kind of have to go into it. And I'm going to actually go over my red a little bit more. So it kind of has a better blending effect. And then I'm going to take my red and start going into my orange a little bit. Those colors kind of blend together. So now you can kind of see I've got more of a, a gradual um, transition here. Because I'm kind of going over those colors over and over again. Kind of make it more blended there. And that kind of creates that red-orange that I was looking for. And you can kind of just blend it to where you think it kind of is enough to blend with it.
All right. So now that I'm kind of done with that, I'm going to get my yellow here. I'm going to start blending out to this yellow orange. And another great trick, um, if you're not liking the way that this is turning out, um, another great way to blend it is to kind of, when you're coloring in the lines, or coloring in this section, um, instead of, and I'll kind of show you down here, instead of doing like a straight line, you can kind of break it up a little bit when you're coloring it in, so then it kind of makes it more like the colors going like this and just instead of going like that. So you can kind of give it not such a straight line when you're coloring it in and it kind of blends it in a little bit better that way too. Um, but I was just kind of doing the simple way, blending it in. Now I'm kind of going into the green here. And the green is kind of a stronger color than yellow, so you're going to have to really make sure that you're blending that in enough so you're not having so many. But the one thing I love about Prismacolors is that you can really kind of blend them together nicely. Alright, my yellow's about had it. Oh no, it's getting angry with me. Okay. So just got my green in here and I'm kind of going into the blue a little bit for that green blue. here with the blue and I also have a red um, violet over here so don't forget to add a little bit of red down here at the end. You can blend that color out. So there we go. So now I've kind of got all my colors kind of blended in. And that you can kind of go back in and blend them a little bit better than what I did. I'm trying to brush this as much as possible. Even though it's already now a longer video than I wanted. Um, but you can go back and sit with that blender pencil. You kind of just go over it a little bit. And that kind of helps to blend the colors in with each other. And that's what I just love about this blender. It does such a nice job and sometimes it might get a little dirty so just make sure you're cleaning that off in between colors. But that's that's pretty much what I'm looking for for that top part. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of go through the basics of what I'm looking for with these so um, I don't make this video entirely too long. But based on what you learned um, with the um, PowerPoint or before this example is that um, stippling is dots. Um, 
hatching is kind of parallel lines with each other. Um, cross hatching is kind of those parallel lines crossing each other, um, one going one way, one going the other way. Um, the back and forth um, is one of those styles that you're just, it's kind of basic coloring techniques, just going back and forth with it. Uh, and then the um, scumbling um, is circles, and that's preferably one of my favorite techniques. But for this one, um, if you remember, if you can go back and remember our value scales, um, we went from um, light to dark. That's what I'm looking for with this as well, but using these different techniques. So I'm looking for five different value scales using those techniques. So for the stippling, and you could just pick one color and just use it for one of these. Maybe I'll pick a different color for this one. I don't suggest using yellow because that's a little hard to see. Um, maybe stick with the, um, the darker colors so um, I can see it when I'm checking on the assignment. Um, but for stippling, um, you're just kind of doing with the dots a little bit. And so you're going from light and you see it's just kind of it's harder to see there we go so you're just kind of making dots and the closer you get them together the darker your scale is going to be so you're just going to go forth And especially with those Prismacolor pencils or any color pencils whatsoever, you don't want to sti um, stipple too hard because otherwise you're going to start breaking lead and nobody wants to do that to their precious color pencils. I can tell you that. So maybe just kind of go through and fill up a little bit and then you can go over it again and add more. But I'm looking for a super light um, stippling over here and then getting to super dark stippling. So those are stippling dots that are super close together. Down here at the end. But you see, um, so I'm looking for the lighter stippling all the way to the darker stippling. So you're just kind of making a gradual um, transition with that. So that's what you're doing for that one. Um, for the hatching, um, it's just, I'm going to make parallel lines for this one. Um, so the closer the lines kind of get together, so I'm just looking for nice parallel lines. Yours can probably look a little bit neater than that. I'm just doing it real quick. But you see how it goes from light to dark. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, but a little bit nicer than what I did. All right. So we have cross hatching for this next one. Um, it's kind of the same premise as this one, but you're going not only this way, but you're also going that way as well. So I'll use the blue for this one. So I'm going to just start going in one direction, not like the band, just one direction with my pencil. Bad joke, it's all good. And then you're going to go the other direction. And you're just going from that light to dark again. And I still got a lot to do on that one. And like I said, I'm, I'm expecting you to do it a little bit neater than me. I'm just trying to do this quickly for you guys. So light to dark. Um, and this one, like super easy for this one. I use the orange. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of just the 
the back and forth. I'm just gonna steadily press a little bit harder, gradually getting darker. So light to dark, so that's the back and forth, so you just keep your pencil on the paper and go back and forth with that one. Alright, and then I'll use the red for the last one. And this one is one of my personal favorites that I use in a lot of my art pieces. Um, it's just a really good um, technique to blend your colors together. And that is just a steady little circular motion. So over here, I'm going to make it nice and light. And, you know, you can make it create some really nice textures with this. For me, you're able to just control the blending so much better. But you can see I'm making like little circles with my pencil. And scubbling is such a fun word to say. So you're just going to do that all the way to the end. With your little circles. And see how quick that was? Um, I still got some more on the stippling to do. But that's pretty much it for the worksheet. Um, and I highly recommend if you need to turn it over on the worksheet and you know test out the color pencils maybe try blending two colors together and see what happens um, maybe you can get the two complementary colors and blend them together on the back and see what happens then they turn to brown so you know see what kind of qualities of brown you can get with it so have fun with it um, so that's a little bit more practice that you can do if you really want to push yourself to practice with it is try mixing the different colors um, together to see what you get um, especially since or maybe you want to try a different like maybe you want a different green blended with a different yellow you know try um, try to see what different um, qualities of pencils give you the different qualities of color um, that you're looking for but that's it for the worksheet and thank you guys and sorry it's a little long um, but this is exactly what you need to do Thank you very much, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.